Hey artists, welcome back to round two of our Ted Harrison landscape paintings. So we're gonna do a second landscape today and I'm gonna admit that this one is a little more challenging than our first one. So here's a sneak peek of what mine looks like. I did more of a daytime scene this time. And then here is what it looks like before I added color. So remember, we're gonna start with an outline. For your outline, you're going to want to use a permanent marker or a crayon because neither of them are gonna smear if you add paint with it. So make sure you have your paper, your marker or crayon, and then you will also need your paints, a paintbrush, and some water. So I'm gonna start out first with my blank sheet of paper. And if you're drawing along with me, Remember that you can pause this um, or rewind it anytime you need to. Otherwise, you are welcome to invent your own landscapes. Yours does not have to look like mine. It can be totally different if you want it to. So a lot like last time, I'm drawing in these jagged lines that are gonna be like mountains or hills. So a lot of Ted Harrison's paintings had mountains and hills in them. So I'm doing that too and I'm drawing a path. So remember for our path, the further away it is, it's gonna get skinnier. As it comes towards us, it gets thicker. So that's called perspective. And then at the end of my path, I'm just drawing a cute little house in the background. So when you have landscapes, you can have landscapes that don't feature any people or buildings or animals, or you can have landscapes that do have people, buildings, or animals. If you look at some of the examples, you can see that some of Ted Harrison's had people in them. Some of them had animals in them too. There was like a really cool one with an orca that I liked. So you could do animals in yours if you want to. So you can see, I'm just gonna add more line details in my landscape. I like to add all of these lines in here because I think that when I add my paint later, they are really fun to color in. So here I'm adding more lines in my landscape. Maybe these lines are like different pieces of like flowers or grass. Maybe they're rolling hills. They can kind of be anything you want them to be. And then I'm adding in a couple more buildings here. So where Ted Harrison lived in Canada called the Yukon is a really small community. Not a lot of people lived up there, but it is a place that has a lot of really great natural beauty. So now here in the back, I'm going to add what's going to be like a little lake. So I'm imagining that I have a lake in between my two mountains. And then I'm gonna add a couple more mountains in the background here too. Again, remember if this video is going too fast, you can always pause it and you can always create your own landscape. Or if you liked the landscape from the first video better, you could do that one again too and just do it with different colors this time. That would be totally fine. So here I'm just adding some last mountains. My landscape here is mostly mountains this time, but I'm also going to add a circle. That circle is gonna be my sun or moon. And just like in my first painting, I'm also going to add some strips in the sky or some ribbons in the sky that are gonna be like my Northern Lights. So did you guys watch that video in the Google Classroom about the Northern Lights? They are so cool. So I wanna make sure that I'm including those in here too, because again, I think that they're really fun to paint and I love that they're an excuse for me to add more color to my painting. All right, so now it is time to paint. 
So last time I used colors that were pretty much all cool colors, but this time I'm gonna use both warm and cool colors. And again, I am using my paint palette to mix different colors of paint. If you want to experiment with mixing different colors, that's something that you could do too. Or you can just use the paint how it is right in your paint palette. Also remember that I fast forwarded this video to make it seem like it was going a little bit faster. You guys should take your time on this. I'm not really painting this fast in real life. So I'm mixing together different blues and greens to make teal colors. If you are mixing your own paints too, you could use your plastic paint palette like I am. Otherwise, you could use something like a paper plate or a plastic plate. You could use like the lid of a container. Anything that has like that shiny surface you could use. Or you don't have to mix your paints at all. That's up to you. So here I'm drawing in this bright orange sky. So I wanted to do a sky that was really colorful and something a little different. So I went with orange. And then I drew a big red sun. And then I'm drawing in colors for those northern lights that we learned about. So I am so excited to see your paintings. I hope you guys had fun with this. Have a great rest of the day.